Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Anderson ticket talking Mazda for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I'm a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it. Comma and a comma. Gotta get it, get it. Welcome back, Triple B Squad. Look, man, we ain't gonna waste no time today. Have y'all ever had a Gliz Burger, y'all? Do y'all see what this is? If you don't know what a Gliz Burger is, don't worry. I'm gonna show you what it's all about. But are you ready to take the first bite of this? Because I'm ready to eat for these people. They need to see us take a bite of this right away. And we'll build up the rest later. Man, that was everything I've been anticipating on this Gliz Burger. Everything I've been anticipating. It was, man, man y'all just don't know. Y'all see all that goodness? Hey, you like it? Is it everything you've been expecting? You took a big bite, too. Man. I'm gonna need a second to clean up my mouth, but look guys, y'all wanna know what these are and what's in these? If you've never heard of a Gliz Burger, look, I'm gonna take the time to cook these for y'all on camera, and we're gonna do a rewind of when we made these burgers, and that's when we're gonna start the video. So hey guys, we'll see y'all in a minute. Hey guys, we are about to show you how we cook these Gliz Burgers, baby. But before we do that, because you know I still got to do this. I need y'all to do something for me. What's that? I need y'all to give this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby. And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, guys. So, look, we're about to cook. These are called Gliz Burgers. This is something that Miss Shan found for us because you know she's always finding uh, very cool things for us all right guys so we're gonna see how we're gonna assemble this uh, I know per the video you pretty much take your dog and cut it down the middle yeah. don't cut it all the way to the edge because you want it to actually make yeah. a opening but you gotta cut all the way Let's through the dog with the knife. there we go yeah, you gotta cut all the way through, just don't cut all the way to the tip. So you just pretty much wanna do that. So it's got a nice little hot dog opening. Ooh, you are scaring me with that knife. Nah, just trying to cut all the way down without really tearing up the hot dog too much. Okay. Are you using Nathan's B. Frank's? So then we got I already got some seasoned ground beef and with some onions in it and you pretty much just want to put the meat in the middle and still flatten it out to like a burger. Does it look okay to you dear? Is it passing the inspection? Look at that in. <laughs> <laughs> When I saw them, of course, there was all sorts of little uh, funny yeah. innuendos about these things. But they're just burgers and dogs. Yeah. All right, so look, we're going to assemble a couple more and we'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, we have six Gliz burgers ready and prepared to go on the flat top here, okay? So we're just going to set them on there. And what are we doing this Gliz burger for? Oh, yeah, I guess we've got to get into that. Well, we're doing a collaboration, guys. And we're doing a collaboration with 
Growth Eating and Conversations, of course. Yes, yes, yes. And, um, yep. So definitely, guys, we're going to be talking about growth eating and conversation throughout this uh, video and her beautiful family she has over there. Yes. Better yet, let me just insert a clip right now of Rose eating in conversation. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us in this collab today. If you run over to our channel, Rome Seating in Conversation, you will catch all kind of mukbangs, reviews, fun challenges, just good old family fun. So after you finish this video, run on over to Rome Seating in Conversations. And check out Mommy Room, Daddy Room, Nisha, and Lil Ronald and see what we doing. I love y'all so much. Many blessings. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Blessings. All right. So we got these on there. They are starting to cook. I do have a plate of some other stuff we can put on there as far as some mushrooms, onions, and all the good stuff. Here's I got some calm. They come up with stuff for me. They not saying anything. You smashing out all the juice, man. No, I didn't know. I was just kind of trying to flatten a little bit. So, yeah, I mean, this is one of them things, like I said, Miss Shan, she be finding all the good stuff. I be going on a lot of sites too and finding me some stuff. I'm going to start. Uh, making them too but man like i said the combination of these two comment below if you ever had this before seriously or if you at least seen the same tiktok or the instagram video that we saw um i think it was a tiktok that we saw but yeah i thought it was kind of cool you know you've seen everybody stuff a hot dog with random stuff you know like right breakfast items breakfast maybe. i've never seen a burger maybe maybe not not this is my first time seeing the burger. I've never ate a burger and a hot dog together, though. You know what nah, I mean? Nah, you're not in the same bite, for sure. I've had plenty of other, you know, times where I've eaten back to back. Mm. But, yeah. Just back to back, baby. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> while she's going there, I'm going to open up this nice can of Pepsi here. I don't know about ASMR. You're going to get that cooking ASMR right there. Yeah, hopefully you guys are doing all right. Everybody is sending you love and positive blessings or positive vibes and blessings all the time. Always. And since I'm doing this video a little different with the cooking and eating, you already saw us take that first bite and you already saw how it looks. So. You might want to check them though because you know it's hot dogs still too. You act like you have cooked these before. There you go. Sometimes I'm like a sous chef. I gotta get on the chef sometimes. Like, chef, can you uh, flip the burger? Flip the blizzard? Hopefully, y'all got a good view of those. Alright, don't be smashing too much. Yeah. I mean, they, what, what's the purpose of a smash burger? They smash Who the burger. smash? But I gotta smash them. Well, I just saw each one that you touched, so those are all yours. <laughs> I can eat whatever one I want. This chef always got to touch the food. Like you tell me. You tell me to do this and, and lick my fingers and see if it's seasoned or not. No, I would say, like, just go something like that and touch it. But you ain't got to, like. Mm hmm. Like, touch it like that. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I got to touch it. Yeah, you 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 got to if you want to see more meals like this. Well, we always have fun with this because it's an experience for us, too. Yeah. So hopefully you enjoy our experience that we're giving to you when we cook like this. Mm -hmm. It just makes me more hungrier. So I'm like, I'm <laughs> yeah, this puts a whole other... Uh, I want some of this grease to slide over. And then that way we can see how Bob, you know how he says he's always 
sure ain't no snacking, no unauthorized snacking going on. <laughs> Hey, did I tell you you can taste that? Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Got some onions as well. Extra onions. There is onions in the meat. Oh, you gotta pick up the onions thing right there. Ah, I left a little ring on there. Okay. Anyway, we'll check back in with y'all in a second. All right. So I'm gonna put some chili on in mine. So I just got a can of chili I'm gonna throw up there. It'll be out of the way. I'm gonna kinda let that warm up. Yeah, do that try to do that campfire style. Yeah, huh? we're doing campfire. So I got my chili in the corner over there. Yeah, this is Kyrs and this is cool. Like I said, we get to experience it together. We're so excited to do this collab with Grooms Eating and Conversation. We've been knowing their family for a while. And we just enjoy their content and themselves as a family overall. We just really like what they stand for, you know? They stand oh, for yeah. just everybody coming together as a family, helping out when needed, and just... <laughs> Look, these are mine over here, all right? I can't taste it like I normally do. I probably would have pulled a little piece of meat off at some point if I was doing it. But yeah, if you guys don't know about Rose Eating and Conversations, please go and check their channel out. Oh, yeah. The whole family they is fabulous. They got Daddy Rose Cooking. Um, they just do regular mug things, reviews. Family activities and family funny, activities. fun games, you know. They're always dropping some knowledge on you. Definitely all around the holidays. Forward. Yeah. You check them out because they always got some Halloween decorations or they're making snacks and treats. Just overall. Mm-hmm. Even mm -hmm. it is, on it. But yeah, I really appreciate them so much. So, blessings to y'all. Mm -hmm. I'm just watching the gliz. You're watching the gliz. You see the gliz effect happening right now. Mm -hmm. the gliz effect. It is all about the glitz. I'm just thinking about I can't wait to put some of this delicious bacon on there. Uh, Diva, that was not a sign for you to get to sniffing. That's the good thing is you guys get to see what it looks like. I mean, this is mine over here, so that's why I'm touching you. Let's see if I can give y'all a... You see what I'm saying? How it looks. Mm -hmm. So you think the burgers are finished? Uh, I mean, they're not real thick burgers. Uh, I'm like, I said, I can... I was going say, I didn't want to put the cheese on so you're pretty sure that that was in it. Ah! That was in it. Another flip. Uh, well, let me do one more, one more flip. So... I was, uh... saw an article. Just a bunch. I saw an article that was talking about how... There was a, a debate going on between who was a better ball player. Ooh. Did get you? Yeah. Back, I'm over here flinging grease. Like, if you want to fight, we can fight. You don't have to fling no grease at me. <laughs> anyway, so it was a story about... Uh, a debate on who is the better ball player it was between Carl Malone and Patrick Ewing. Mm. So they were saying that Carl Malone gets a lot of shine because of course he had one of the best point guard, you know, team members in John Stockton. Right. And they just kinda ran the ran the shit when they was around. And, you know, Patrick Ewing didn't necessarily have that go-to that was just there in his whole... I mean, he had John Starks, I guess, but... Yeah, that the, was the right. didn't really have, like, a, a point guard like that, like John Stockton. But then they were saying that Carmelo... I'm pretty sure somebody has to, um, something to say about who was. Well, this is what the article was. Right, right, like right, an ESPN article or something, because they they're saying, I don't know if one of them is about to get inducted into the Hall of Fame, I mean, the Basketball Hall of Fame, but they're just saying that Carl Malone sometimes outshines um, Patrick Ewing just because he was part of a dynamic duo. 
Right. And, you know, she had Jordan Pippen and Jordan and John Paxton. You know what I mean? You had that combo. And Patrick never really had oh, a combo. Oh, being Yeah, he never, really, he never really had a combo. So they were just kind of like, well, does he? Is he missing out on that because he never had that dynamic duo? And then I guess, you know, Carl Malone got into it. He had a little scandal going on I was telling you about with uh, a young lady in Utah and stuff, you know, yeah. when he was younger. So he kind of had some issues going on. And as far as we know, Patrick Ewing didn't ever have any type of drama or anything like that. So they are pretty much just saying that um, Carl gets more of the shine, and, but who was really the, the beast on the court? Like, who would you have said? Because Patrick Ewing was... Well, they were two different positions, but... Yeah, but I'm just saying, as far as their presence... I mean, sometimes Carl Malone played the center. He was like forward slash center. I mean, he was big. Center. Carl Malone was like 6'9". Yeah, I'm saying so he was like forward slash center. He, was like he would six, be getting them rebounds. So, yeah. And uh, Carl Malone... I mean, Patrick, yeah, he was center, but... He didn't do too much forward stuff, but... I don't know. I like them both. Yeah, it's kind of hard to say. That's kind of hard to, to say with that. With That's like saying who was better, David Robinson or, or Patrick Ewing? I did. I would go with David Robinson. Yeah. What? I don't know. It's just hard. Like I feel like we really don't have players like that that can that make then the you impact. Gotta, so. Then you got to throw in Akeem with Oh yeah. Uh, you know yeah. all the big men we grew up. I, I we grew up on. Yeah. You know, and of course, and you had Kareem. Of course, they say Kareem was the greatest. Oh, yeah. You know. But that's a, that time. Like, we really weren't Kareem time, you know? No. We were kind of came in late with that. But I just remember all those players. Like, I just don't feel that same passion for basketball like I used to. Mm. Like, I do. It's still there because, you know, I love sports. But I just don't feel that passion. When I used to stay up late at night as a kid, knowing I had to go to school just to watch the end of the game that might have came on late at like 9 o'clock, you know? Mm -hmm. Here I am sitting in my room yelling and screaming at 11 o'clock. My parents like, you still watching that game, girl? And I'm like, yeah, it's a good game. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I cannot go to sleep. Yeah, it's kind of hard for your parents to make you go to bed if you watch the Chicago Bulls game in Jordan, though. Yeah. My dad, he would do that all the time, and he would hear me be like, yes, you know, or something. And he'd come in there and be like, Shan, you still watching that game? You better go to sleep. <laughs> and then the next day, it was like you go to school and talk about it with all your sports friends, you know, because most of my girlfriends, we all love sports. So we would always talk about sports, and a lot, a lot of the talk was college talk back then. Oh, you know? yeah, because who's those, your favorite yeah. player of all time? Oh uh, yeah. Oh Chris uh, Webber. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Know. Michigan was my my school, and being Everybody. here in Indiana, everyone was like, "Boo, Michigan!" But I just love the Fab Five and everything. Now everybody's like, rocking them them colors that blue and yeah, gold. Yeah, and they started the sag of the shorts. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. well, nobody sagging their shorts to the Fab Five came along. <laughs> so, but yeah, I just don't feel that passion. I try to. I really try to, but. Sometimes I just get distracted. Now that I love football, it's kind of coming into play too. Mm -hmm. Is there anything up. else that you needed? Yeah. I said, bring that board back over. Okay. I'm going to restart. All right, guys, let's get into making these Gliz burgers. All right. I'm going to take a bun. This is the moment I've been waiting for. And I'm going to put my, like, he, oh, we got mayo too, don't we? Let me get that mayo. So yeah, like I said, we can talk about the debate of basketball players forever. Mm -hmm. There's so many greats and so many things, but then that's always a debate like the boxer debate. Like with Tyson had beat Muhammad Ali, you know, with Jordan. Did Jordan and LeBron ever play together against each other? I guess they had to at some point, didn't they? Uh, I believe so, yes. I'm tripping. That's how much I watch it, man. 
I'm hot. But yeah, definitely, this was a pleasure. Like I said, Rome's eating in conversation. I do need to talk about her because I've been so interested in this burger. I forgot to tell y'all that, uh, you know, Rome's been around me for a long time, since the, the start of my channel. It has always been an excellent supporter, an excellent um, friend. friend, you know, someone that I, you know, I've had conversations with and you know they always ended good and they always remain to be you know just positive conversations hence the channel name Rome's Eating in Conversation, in conversation. yeah so I'm going to throw my tomato down there too somehow I'm going to cut this down so uh oh that glizzy got messed up it fell out. It's nice and juicy though. Look at all that glizzy, glizzy juice. <laughs> glizzy juice, you done made up some stuff. <laughs> I got that glizzy juice. I got that glizzy juice. Mm -hmm. I got that glizzy juice. Okay. It's like creating a work of art. <laughs> now I'm like, what is the old debate on this one? Because I'm eating a burger and a hot dog, and I don't put ketchup on my hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's just going to be mustard. <laughs> Sometimes, though, I do long for that taste of um, ketchup on a hot dog. Sometimes it just hits right. But that's why I usually try to have some tomatoes or something, cause where I'm from, we won't put ketchup on hot dogs, name. <laughs> so look at that. Uh -huh. You got your bacon on yours and everything. Huh? Yeah, look at that. Put the little stuff on now. Oh, you making all yours at a time? I guess I could have did that too. I was just making them because I was gonna do a thumbnail. Ah, okay. See, Senor Bobby. Yes. These are some uh, thick little buns. These mm -hmm. are brioche. Brioche buns. Brioche style buns. Mm-hmm. Then we got them from Walmart. These come from Walmart? Yes, ma'am. Wally's World. World of the Wally's. We ain't got onions and uh, mushrooms on Ah, uh, yeah, man. You hogging all the stuff over there. Can I hang a song? Man, y'all, like I have never. Had a taste of bacon. I got it in bacon in an oven. I don't know if I'm gonna put chili on there. Oh yeah, I feel like that too. Man, my Gliz burger is loaded. Hey guys, this is a fun thing to do. You can do it with the kids. Definitely fun. And them just like making these little burger, burger dogs. Maybe, I don't know, I'm scared to do some, uh, to do some ketchup on there. Uh-oh, Diva got something. Alright, so y'all, y'all got to see how we cooked. Now that they're all assembled, you saw all that. We can go on with the rest of the video. This one I'm eating has lettuce, tomatoes, onions, mustard, uh, bacon, and mushrooms. Mine is everything she said. Like I said, the lettuce, tomatoes, mayo, mushrooms, bacon, and I got chili on all mine along with the cheese, guys. Yeah, I got one chili cheese one. Mm hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't think I need nothing else with this. These are like perfect the way they are. <laughs> he was in my lap. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But yeah, I think I see that's the burger. That's the burger part right there. And mm -hmm. I had that. I mean, I haven't had a, a chili burger in a while. So to have a chili burger and a hot dog all in one. Man, this is this is great. Can I get a kiss for? Can I give you a kiss for how good of a choice you made on this meal too? Mm. Okay, you just don't want to get no juice on y'all. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of eating and kissing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you do that separate. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So after this video, guys, make sure you follow us over to Rome's Eating and Conversations channel. So you can see how Miss Felicia made her Gliz burgers over there. And the one thing about her was always cool is she's cooked many of Miss Shan's recipes before. And she's actually got videos out of some of Miss Shan's recipes. I know she made your Elvis egg rolls before. If you don't know what an Elvis egg roll is, make sure you go check that out as well. She's got a few. She did the crazy cones. She did the Scottish eggs. I think she said one time, yeah, she's done a lot. <laughs> yeah, she's done, I mean, I'm just off the top of the head, but I think she's done more than that because she's done some of your other snacks and treats. I was worried about how I was going to fit this on the bun, but these Brioche buns are holding up well. Like, and I don't mind taking a big bite. Y'all want to take this next big bite with me, y'all? Yeah, that was a lot. I mean, it doesn't seem like a lot, but like technically you're eating a hot dog and a hamburger. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say no, but I do want to dig into this chili one now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, like, been, I've been torn to my chili one. Let me turn this around for y'all to see the inside of that. Is that better? Okay, it starts out looking like a hot dog. So. You need that tip. Mm. What you say about the tip? I said it starts off. <laughs> it starts off looking like a hot dog because you eat the tip first. Mm. And then you get to the meat. Mm hmm. And you're like, wait a minute. There's something else inside you. You know, guys, we try to bring things to the channel that we see that's new and different out there. So definitely comment below if you like these type of ideas and these crazy combinations and see if we can come up with some more for you guys. But if you like this stuff, let me know below in the comments. Yeah, this is what, you know, like on my channel, I like to do mashups. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a mashup. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're doing this because it's a uh, hot dog and hamburger week. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. I think we've got to mention that because we were so excited about yeah. cooking and eating these things. There's a hamburger part now. But that's what kind of made a good collaboration because Rose had brought up the fact of what time of the month it was. Yeah, that's and what I did. And already had something in her mind, so that's called it was a collaboration. Like, it yeah. was like locked and loaded for real. Well, me, I'm just excited about eating it. Mm. Yeah. Well, I was excited about eating it and making it because mm -hmm. I wanted to see how it was gonna work. Mm -hmm. I was excited about watching it being made or making it. Mm -hmm. I've had a demon on my lap this whole time, you guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you see her? Her, <laughs> her head is resting on Miss Shan's thigh. Like. She's like, that's a messy thing. Y'all gonna be making some messes over here. I definitely just got a stain on my shirt. There you go. Yeah, the combination though is not bad. Mm -hmm. but Of course, you eat them together on a plate, but like you were saying, you don't necessarily uh, eat them at the same bite. Stuff, put your burger on top of your hot dog and be like, you know, I'm about to do this. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this one time, I astonished like one of my friends because I took some baked beans. Was that you too? I took some baked beans and put it on top of my hot dog. No, I didn't. And my burger. Before. Yeah, I've done that baked beans. Yeah, this person that was like, oh my gosh, you put. Dang, now that would have been good. Like, we was working about. Oh, on my hamburger. And they were like, you put baked beans nah, on your that. hamburger? We just talking about size and stuff, but this really is fulfilling as it is. I was like, yeah, that would have been good. Some baked beans, potato salad with this meal. Mm hmm. It was good enough, though. Good. 
Pierre's mind started cooking these more often. Like, kid, you want a burger and a hot dog? Save on the bun. <laughs> Less bread. Right. But you get the the best of both worlds in your, your sandwich. You really do. So that's how I see what I'm like at. Mm -hmm. Both, look at that. I keep showing y'all, but I got everything in that bite. There's some hot dog in there. The yeah. chili cheese is good. Mm -hmm. There you go, man. Mm. So definitely try this for the summer, you guys. Since you're gonna be grilling, let's go ahead and split open some hot dogs and put a <laughs> bar of meat in it. Yeah, yeah, buddy. I'm probably put some. We got like some Italian sausage or something. Mm -hmm. I can imagine with like a Polish. Mmm. Yeah, we can try these with Johnsonville brats or Polish. Mm -hmm. Um, or a hot Scott Peterson. Yeah, we saw those. But you don't know, put the comments if you know about Scott Peterson's. She didn't know about top of on them Scott I Peterson's. Did. He was eating well. I'm from the Hebrew there. Nation. Frank's. Mm. My family's been a Frank family for a while. Mm hmm. Franks and Johnsonville Brats. Well, I got spoiled on Vienna beef dogs. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a couple of Vienna beef hot dog stands up north. Yeah, see, we didn't really have those, but my dad appreciated that. I think that's where he, he got us doing the all beef Franks, you know? Mm -hmm. Type of idea. Yeah, that's my ass, man, y'all. Mm -hmm. So, I'm gonna do a black little bite. <laughs> Alright, especially on your lap. <laughs> hey. You ain't gonna be able to touch that when you're full, ain't you? Yeah, I'm gonna go down with y'all. I'm gonna turn for them to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's thinking about y'all now. <laughs> you know I love y'all. <laughs> Remember after this video, make sure y'all, if y'all watching this during the premiere with me live, we're leaving here and the links will be dropped, dropped in the live chat and in the description box below for you guys to follow us over to Rome's Eating and Conversation to watch her video. Mm. Man, that was bomb. Mm. That really was. Like this, like the snappiness of the dog on there, you mm -hmm. know, when you're eating it. And then, like you said, you get to that meaty texture of the burger, and then you're like, oh, you know, there's a little substance between this bread. Mm -hmm. Not just a little snappy dog on there, mm -hmm. it's a little substance. We might have to try those again. Mm -hmm. And just be experimental on there. Because those was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm high about your last glib burger. <laughs> If you want it, you can eat it, babe. No. I mean, the bun's good, too, because it's that bite. Oh, yeah. I say definitely. I swear these are like honey not, brioche buns or something. If you're not, what you need, babe? Are they honey brioche buns or just regular brioche? Uh, these are just actual regular brioche. Look like maybe even wheat brioche. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> it's got like a brown package. Yeah, I don't know. It's nature's sugar. own brioche. Yeah, I know. Dogs. They were from Walmart, too. They're actually pretty good though for buns. Uh -oh. It says soft and sweet. Ah, oh, okay. There so that's the sweet part of it. So yeah, they're getting sweet. So it's like, mm, it's like honey or something at the end of these buns. Yeah, this was, um, you guys see that? Nature's own hot dogs. Mm -hmm. I definitely say go to Brioche Way, man. If you can spare to spend a little extra uh, dollar or two on the Brioche, whatever. If it's bread, buns, hot dog, hamburger. Mm -hmm. That's definitely, um, that's definitely the way to go. Yep. They are so delicate and like fluffy, but still, you know, hold up to what they gotta do. Oh yeah, it, it did its job. It did what it do. But look, I need y'all to do something for me. What's that? Cause I'm full. I need y'all to give this video a thumbs up. I need you to comment below, baby. <laughs> And don't forget to share it out. Share it out. Share it out. Yeah. And if it's your channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that 
notification bell. All right, make sure y'all, if you're in a live chat, follow me right now over to Rome's Eating and Comments. Excuse me. Rome's Eating and Conversations channel for her video. That was like five glizzy burps. If you're, yeah, that's what it is, a glizzy burp. I'm still going. <laughs> if you're watching the replay and you made this part of the video, make sure you still run over to Rome's Eating and Conversations channel and watch her video. And watch as many of as you can because you're going to fall in love with the channel. Show sure enough. I'm Big Belly Bob. I'm Miss Shane. Try the recipe. <laughs>